Um, just uh, on this, on related topics, and we're talking about the uh, the Iraq War or the uh, the bombings of uh, terrorist targets, and uh, the level of public support for it. Um, Bernard Keane from Crikey.com asked a question of the Attorney General George Brandis at the National Press Club uh, during the week, and he pointed out that um, that 100 people a year die of domestic violence in Australia, and he went on to put it this way. You said you know, that the paramount duty of any government is to keep our people safe. Where's the extra half billion dollars in funding to address that? Where are the additional powers for law enforcement agencies? Where's the, the rhetoric about existential threats for something that actually does kill Australians rather than merely threaten to kill them? I think you're foolishly conflating two completely unrelated issues. <laughs> well, last time Bernard Keane commented on this, he said that more people fell off ladders. He's now moved from yes, ladders. But you can't to... do much about people falling off ladders. I suppose you could run a public safety campaign, but you can do more about domestic violence and you can put more resources well, into well, it. Well, that is true. But uh, as we all know, domestic violence essentially is, is a state matter. I mean, the, unless the crime's committed in the ACT, or the, it, it's, it's, a, it's a matter for state police force, it's not the matter for the Federal Attorney General. Mm. Although, actually, the Federal Government has put more money into domestic violence. They've set up a national centre that will coordinate a lot more research into at risk communities, which will be really interesting. It will particularly look at, for example, some Middle Eastern communities within Australia where domestic violence is, is more rife, but also gay and lesbian communities and have a really data based approach to finding those vulnerable areas. So it, it is